Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Um, obviously we've got another week without our team training. So we're going to go through another session together. Um, last week we went through a lot of different variations of first touch passing ball mastery. So hopefully you got some benefit out of that. And again, things like this, there's only going to be benefits when you do them. So you can repeat these sessions as often as you want. Okay, today we're going to make it a little bit shorter so you can do it inside or outside. Not don't need an awful lot of space. Okay, so as much as you can, get onto the ball, keep trying to practice these exercises and you'll pick them up as you go. First off, just warming up in here. So again, any ball movement that you want, just start to get the ball moving. Okay, any direction that you want, any sort of touches that you want to do, just start to get yourself warmed up by doing different touches on the ball. Okay, next up we're just going to do a bit of juggling again to continue our warm-up. So if you can, just toe bounces on the ball, just with the end of your foot. Keep it really low, really short. If you struggle to do that, just take a little bounce in between. Otherwise, just on the full, just get that ball bouncing on your foot. Okay, next up you're just going to need one cone okay so grab one cone just lay it down on the ground you just need your ball to start okay so this one gets a little bit more challenging for our ball mastery so ball's going to start on one side of the cone so have it make sure it's in, in front of your foot we're going to use the inside part of our foot first okay so how it works in here is we go we're trying to avoid the cone and make a square around it so it just goes inside inside sole sole inside inside sole sole as you start to get the rhythm of that, keep moving the ball around. And as you start to get it, start to get on the bounce a little bit, and you just start to work the ball around the cone. If you start to get comfortable, you can start to move quicker. Just one cone. Again, slowly, it just looks like that. Two, one, two, one, two. One, two. The other way that you can do it that might be easier for some is you can use the sole part of your foot, so the studs or the bottom of your shoes, to do the whole four touches. So it looks like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So again, it's just really up to you what feels comfortable. And you can work that through however you want. Try not to cross your feet over too much. Makes it a lot easier to keep control of the ball. Okay, next you're just gonna grab two cones. Okay, so again, put them beside each other with just a, a gap in between so the ball can fit through. You're gonna start again from the bottom, below the cone. You're gonna go inside foot touch inside foot through sole sole inside inside sole sole inside inside sole sole again as you start to get comfortable you can pick up the speed just start to work the ball through if you get really good at it you can really start and pick up the speed Okay guys, and final one, okay, all we're going to do, we're going to start from the middle, this is just our three, and again, these three are quite difficult, so you just keep on repeating them, take your time with them, this will keep you occupied for a fair bit of time trying to get the rhythm. This one, all we're going to do, we're going to go inside touch, inside touch, change foot, drag back, push, stop. So watch that again, inside touch, inside touch, drag back, push, stop. Then when I come into the ball the next time, I'm going to do the same thing. Inside, inside, change foot, drag, push, stop. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Again, take it slow. One, two, change foot, three, four, five. One, two, drag back, push, stop. As you get your rhythm, you can start to speed it up. OK, 
Okay guys, next up, we're gonna start with a bit of dribbling work. Okay, really still short touches, so still focusing on that ball mastery element. When we're in here with the ball, we're gonna make a triangle. So using three of our four cones, we're gonna make a triangle with the ball, put our ball in the middle, and we're gonna get started, ready to go. So how this exercise works is you can repeat this and have a rest in between. You're gonna take the ball up, pass that first cone, try and take a little touch around the player, come around. You'll notice when you're facing one of your sides, you're gonna drive in, quick touches, turn on the ball. Then the next time you go into the cone, try and beat them the other way. Take it the other way, drive in, come around the cone and when to finish we roll we beat our player and we finish back into the middle so i'll watch you through i'll take you through it again come up beat the player drive in touches touches come back in beat the player the other way come back through take the player around again finish off in the middle so the next variation on our on our three cone practice here in our triangle is when we come around the play now we're going to do a few ball mastery skills included so i'll dribble up to my cone as i come around i'm going to be facing forward doing my soul drag backwards when i come into here again i dribble up take my touches beat my player back soul touches backwards again i finish off by coming around finishing in the middle of the, of the triangle and i'm done so watch again to take you through it slowly. Come around your cone, face forward, soul touches. Come around again, come around your player, soul touches. Finish off by going around and coming through the middle. Then you can stop. So another variation on that one we've just done is as you come around, instead of using the sole part of your foot, you can also do it with the inside. Backwards touches, face up. Keep moving your feet. Again, take it around, come up. Sole touches again. So there's a few options there that you can do that can replicate the same exercise. And last but not least, we're gonna be working inside the triangle this time. Put yourself on for about 30 40 seconds okay all you're going to do working on changing the direction of the ball so you're going to go in change your direction of the ball dribble in again change the direction of the ball dribble in change the direction of the ball dribble in change the direction keep trying to move in and out to open up and change go back the same way if you want change again come back out change again so just working in different touches that allow you to keep the ball inside For the 30, 40 seconds that you're going to do. And to finish off today's session, we'll do a few different variations on our ball mastery square again. Okay, so get your square ready. We'll do three to four different variations. Again, these are quite difficult tasks, so it'll take you a bit of time, which will make this session last quite a bit of time if you put the effort in to try and get them all correct. This time, all we're going to do is we're just going to push the ball sideways, trying to stay within our square. So it's going to be inside outside inside outside inside outside inside outside now when you do this it's really important that you touch it sideways don't go back because it makes it difficult so if it goes back and i'm trying to dig it out and i'm going to lose my balance try and keep the board slightly forward as you do it inside outside inside outside inside outside inside outside work side to side as you start to get it pick it up if you get too close to the line just bring it back in in different parts of your foot. Next, always make it a little bit more difficult. Two outside touches every time. So inside, outside, outside. Inside, outside, outside. Again, try and keep it within the square. Touch the ball nice and gentle and move with it. Next one we're gonna do on our right foot first. Outside, drag, inside. Outside, drag, inside. Outside, drag, inside. Outside, drag, inside. Work on the spot, push it in the direction that you need it. Just 
just stay on that right foot first. So a bit of a go on that, use the other foot. Inside of the right, outside of the left, drag. Inside, outside, drag. Inside, outside, drag. So it's going to be outside, outside, L turn, outside, outside, L turn, outside, outside, L turn. Just working from side to side of the square. Thanks guys, there's your week two session of being in uh, lockdown that you can use at home or if you get outdoors as well. So a few different variations there, take your time, repeat them. Again, there's no amount of work that you can do like this that won't be beneficial for you. So I hope you enjoy and I'll hopefully see you on the park soon.